Looking at the Stylus Tough 8010. Uh, this thing is awesome. This is a big, awesome, heavy camera. It's really good. Uh, if you're one of those people that's kind of like clumsy with their cameras, you kind of just like drop it. Oh, shoot. Or, um, you know, if you drop it a lot, or maybe, uh, you know, you live by the ocean and you just constantly drop the camera into water and do stuff like that. Uh, it's the perfect camera for that because uh, it is fully shockproof and waterproof. It's actually waterproof up to 16 feet, which is really uh, pretty deep, as well as it's also shock absorbing to up to 6.6 .6 foot drop. It can take, it's winterized and go negative uh, 10 be uh, below zero Celsius, which is really, really cold. Uh, the LED can absorb up to 220 pounds of impact. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, it's got a 14 megapixel sensor, so you know it's going to uh, produce some pretty awesome images. Uh, 5X optical zoom, it's actually an F3.5 to f5.1 it's got image stabilization uh, in the lens it is a sensor shift so it's actually not the lens it's actually the sensor but it's kind of in between the sensor will actually shift up and down so if you're shaking the camera and that was going to produce a blurry image the sensor is going to shake a little bit too so that it matches up and you get a sharp image uh, it's got a very very nice 2.7 inch 230,000 dot lcd screen goes up to 1600 iso can shoot at one two thousandth of a second to freeze any type uh, of sports uh, or fast moving objects. I mean, it really is an incredible camera. If you're going on vacation, you know, maybe going on a cruise, you want to you make sure that, uh, you know, it's going to be safe, that you can take it with you, you don't have to worry about it. You can't really beat it. Uh, it's really un incredible. Now, one of the coolest features I found on it is tap control. Now, it's not enabled right now, uh, but what it does is it lets you tap to get into certain modes. You can tap it bottom, top, right, and left, and it's going to s put it into playback mode uh, or into a sports mode or continuous mode, which is really, really cool. It's also got a bunch of really cool in-camera features. You have uh, panorama mode, beauty mode, advanced face detections. There's creative uh, filters where you can make it a pop art image uh, or you make it a fish hole, a fish eye or a pinhole image. Lots of really cool filters. You can add sepia and all that good stuff. It is really, really, really cool. Uh, like I mentioned, it is a 5x zoom, so you can get pretty close to the detail. It also has a macro feature. It's going to automatically uh, let the lens get focused uh, at much closer distances. Uh, very, very, very cool camera. It does feature full flash. Uh, it does have full automatic. If you don't want to have to use uh, the manual mode, you can do it. But you can take over some of the settings, including the ISO, the white balance, and the shutter speed are all controllable, which is very, very cool. It even has internal memory. It's got two gigabytes of internal memory. Uh, you can also add an SD or an SDHC card, uh, which is really cool. And uh, now that I'm going to give you the tour, let me dry this thing off completely because I'm going to open it up, uh, and that's going to compromise the water seal. But I will show you how cool uh, the side is. Now, <coughs> coming over here, I'm going to show you how this thing is so waterproof when you have to have all these buttons. First of all, I'm going to unlock it. It's going to make sure that I don't open it accidentally, especially underwater uh, or maybe out in the rain. I'm going to pull down this little tab right here, and basically it's going to pop open this little section here, completely weather sealed. Uh, it's a really thick, look at it, it's like a safe. It's like opening a little tiny weather sealed safe. Very, very neat. Inside of here is where all the delicate electronics are going to be stored. Uh, you have your HDMI, mini HDMI port to share video and pictures on an HDTV with. You have an SDHC and SD card uh, holder right there. It's going to record your images. You have an AV out in case you want to hook it up to an older uh, television as well as the battery. This is all really, really incredible stuff. Let me go ahead and close that up. This thing's still a little tiny bit wet. I'm going to make sure I don't break it. Whoops. On the top, you do have your power button and your shutter release. Uh, your flash, I'm sorry, your zoom control is right over here. This does record 1280 by 720p HD video, uh, and it has a dedicated button for just that. From wherever you are, if you want to record video, uh, you hit that right there, and you are now going to record video. Uh, you see it there counting down over here in the corner, and that does work. If you want to stop, you just push it again. It's going to write it to the card, or in this case, to the internal memory, since I don't have a card, and you're good to go. Playback is a dedicated button. You just push right there, and there you go. There's your video if you want to watch it. You just hit play, and there it is. You can control the volume if you want uh, or bring it all the way down. You also have dedicated buttons over here for macro mode, for zoom, for flash, uh, for deleting photos, as well as a dedicated button for the menu and for help. I'm going to go ahead and take you to, to the menu. Uh, you're going to see here there's a couple things going on. You can make a slideshow. You can pick music. Uh, you can do a couple different things through here. I'm also going to want to actually get out of here. I want to go back to the main screen and hit the menu there. Here we go. Uh, so first of all, you're going to go through all your settings. You do have a full uh, program feature. Right now it's in Beauty Shot, which is going to 
uh, clear up skin tones and make uh, blemishes disappear. Uh, you have an automatic flash mode for low light. You have your macro mode in case you need to shoot something that's very small and you want to make sure it focuses. You do have a full timer. Uh, two seconds and 12 seconds are the options. Uh, you can adjust your exposure uh, by 0.3 stops in each direction. You have your white balance. You can set it to auto or you can automatically or manually set it to tungsten or daylight or shade or whatever. Uh, ISO as well. Uh, you can automatic, you can pretty much put it uh, into high mode. It's going to set it to 1600. You can go as low as 80. Uh, and you can go everything in between 200, 100, 400, 800, and then the low mode is 80. Finally, at the bottom here, you have the different versions of shooting. You can shoot in continuous high, continuous low, or single shot. Uh, standard is going to be continue, uh, single shot. Uh, and then from here, you can go into the setup, which is going to give you all the other stuff that you could imagine. Tons of different stuff through here, all sorts of shadow adjustments, fine zoom adjustments, uh, image stabilizer. You can turn that on and off. You can, uh, you can adjust whether the orientation changes when you flip the camera. Uh, you can set up a remote flash. There's so much stuff you can do. Even the video quality can be changed. All this stuff is accessible through these uh, folders right here. Very, very cool and very, very useful. Uh, and that's basically it. This is one serious camera. It's extremely uh, durable. I was beating on it for a while earlier. I was just hitting things and everybody was kind of freaking out. Uh, it's not going to take it. It's not going to have any problems. It's going to take everything that you do to it in stride, including up to 16 feet of water, a 6.6 .6 foot uh, drop, uh, or negative 10 degrees Celsius weather. Uh, it's the Olympus Stylus Tough 8010. If you have any questions on it, email me, and I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Olympus Stylus Tough 8010, type in 083-1308 into any major search engine.